And we finish. All aboard. How did you survive? I thought you were dead. Don't remember much. Remember punching Hans Gross in the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For a moment there, I thought it was going to heaven. Then falling, then pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could barely move. Had to crawl. So they found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a Kreisauer hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Infection. Ugh, these things I don't want to remember. I'm sorry about your legs. Don't be. I've learned how to fly. What is the dot ye should? How can we get in contact with them? Anya, what do we know? Very little, but I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. Glaskovich, whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for a closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. That'll be all. We can go now. All oh, love birds. <laughs> all right. So, still a bit of a uh, stuff to do around. Still. Now we're back here at the Resistance HQ. Here we'll mess around with the crafting table again. Another easy armor upgrade. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think we uh, all head down here. We need to grab ourselves that saw, I believe, and then we have to get ourselves a piece of concrete. Yeah, this here. Need a circular saw to cut a sample. Got to be some power tools nearby. Oh yeah, actually, I think there's a little bit of a cutscene here that I probably that I almost overlooked. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk around here. The cutscene's kind of like similar in the case if you went on the Fergus timeline, uh, but uh, let's see, is he uh, he's somewhere upstairs? We need to go find Wyatt. Um, isn't this the room here? No? Uh. 
Okay, maybe it's like after I get the saw or something. I don't know if I already passed that up, but, uh... You know, it's one of those, like, extra cutscenes that it's like, oh, well, you know. Understand the characters a bit better. I mean, that's what they overall did with the... New take on Wolfenstein is just having to... Give us characters for us to give a damn about, so... But anyway, let's get that saw. Oh no! Yeah, Klaus, get back to work. Jeez. Alright, so... A little bit of a strange offshoot here. Oh. Yeah, a bit of a strange offshoot here. Um, let's see, oh yeah, there's a bit of a break-in right there. Let's see, right around these parts here, we're just gonna have to be careful here. Because I think that there's also another upgrade for us to get. So let's we'll need to take the time having to be extra careful when looking around. I mean, you know, if there's anything that looks like it's glowing, then, well, we're on the right track. Oh, I was right. Alright, reflection. There we go. I believe that's what we need now for this next part of the perk. Yeah, Chris uh, Battery says, yeah, I have to do indirect kills with the LKW. And this will pretty much be like another spot for us to abuse, I would say. Oh. As a matter of fact, let's see if we can try to give this a shot. Did that work? No, apparently I was like within the radius of that. I was trying to make it bounce off the wall. Anyway, I think it should look something like this. Yeah, you saw that ricochet. Not gonna be like the easiest things to pull off, so. Anyway, we hit a checkpoint, so that means now we have to mess around with doing this. Yeah, um, you can see why this is gonna get annoying. Eh. Yeah, could you, you can see there's a fair bit of drones here. So yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do the usual thing. <laughs> Reload the checkpoint here. I mean, at least I got to show you an indirect kill at least once on camera. Here, we'll grab this real quick. And actually, we're going to go ahead and stand right here in this hallway. Try to funnel them in here. I mean, I mean, these guys should be smart enough to come in here, right? Okay, they're all aggroed. Are they going to come in or not? Because it's not the easiest thing to pull off. I think I managed to do it. Yeah, yeah, I did. I guess it was just a random chance for it to ricochet and having to hit someone. Problem is, we just have to wait for this thing to recharge. Bit of an annoyance. And it looks like they're not really smart enough having to come in. Okay, they're all down there. I can only do it like one shot at a time.
freaking slow, I know. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do it off camera, as always. See you in a bit. There, dear God, I finally managed to get it. I'm gonna shot the gun the fuck out of you guys. See, this is why that I bothered having to go ahead and reload checkpoints, having to get some of the perks, because some of them are just not naturally done. Like, what are the odds of you having to kill someone with, like, an indirect kill or something like that? And I think the same thing can be said about having to use turrets, because, like, they're so, like, impractical, especially on this difficulty, so it's like, might as well get them done and out of the way by abusing this reload checkpoint thing. I mean, this is what I get for having to set out to do a little bit of a challenge. I mean, hey, if I really wanted a challenge, then I would have played on one of those, like, modes that you unlock with the Enigma code. But it's like, nah. Also, let's go for a little bit of a side diversion here. And I believe if you go through this here, you'll get yourself a uh, piece of Nazi gold somewhere around here. That's typically how you would do it, because I don't see much of anything else. Now I'm curious, is there like a way for me to... Okay, so it does keep track of the uh, stuff that I did collect. Alright, just want to make sure, because I would hate to miss like all the extras for the laser craft work. But yeah, as you can see, we got ourselves increased battery size now. So I'll make much more use of the LKW. We'll definitely have to work on that because like, we're a little over halfway there for the uh, kills on that one. And oh god. When we get to that, when we get to one chapter, when we have to do that one, because that one's also another bitch to do. <laughs> uh huh. Let's see, that's the travel mode. I gotta do more of that cover fire stuff. And also, we're a little bit done with the stealth stuff, too. So, making good progress. And it looks like, I believe, this is our way out. Once we get started with here with the next chapter, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. And we're back out. We're back here. Now, if you'll excuse me. What the damn hell are you doing? Science project. Well, you're scaring Max. That's not I'm sorry, pal. Didn't always flip out like that. Is that his son? No. Well, kind of. I don't know. So not his son. Used to be Klaus had a son, born during the war. A miracle, he called it. So he had tried for years to have a child, him and his wife. Yeah, well, he'd make a pretty good father for a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. The wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Klaus could not protect them. So he blames himself. I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. Maybe check on Max. See if he's okay. Yeah, a bit of a side thing that you can do is having to... Trying to cheer up Max here, so. Lost toy. Well, I found you. So, yeah, we need to go around and find some random toys that's scattered around the place. Eh, so I, I guess we could. <laughs> hey, toy. All I had was a pine cone and a box of matches. What do you do with the pine cone? Eat it? That would suck.
I apparently have an option to mess with that again. Oh, armor. <laughs> okay. Pointless, but okay. Ooh. Rather peculiar. I saw that through the wall there. Hmm. I heard that. Let's see, where do you keep your toys? I always just don't remember like where the remaining ones are. They have them kept, like, up here. Yay, yeah, throwing knives. If you wanted to toss them over there, if you could. If you wanted to. No, I'm not sure what to say about these hero photos here, because, uh... If I had to guess, it's probably, like... Just the developers there. Just posing there. So look for truck and blocks. Soldier man. They keep the door to the archives, you know, like locked that. I think maybe Wyatt has a key. Oh, okay, so that's where uh That's where that next cutscene comes in. off of his dead body, wanted to return him to the RAF, but then there was no RAF. Best damn pilot I ever saw in a hell of a soldier. I'm not cut out for this, you know? Cut out for what? This. Everything. I was 18 years old, and suddenly the war was lost. Everything good in the world died. Somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces and keep the resistance going, take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire. You think I was ready for that kind of responsibility? My ignorance got so many good people killed. You remember Private Prendergast? You know, that guy, he could survive anything. So tough. Well, I got him killed. Sent him out on a mission, and he never came back. I just didn't know any better. Wing Commander Fergus Reed, he wouldn't know what to do. He could have saved so many. I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! Yes, you did! You left a boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain, on that slab, and Fergus Reed should have lived. I'm not a child anymore, Captain. I know where mistakes were made. There. Leave me alone now, you hear? Yeah, that was that was that was pretty rough. Pretty much a similar thing would happen if you do that same thing within the Fergus timeline, so. Because it's like, like, BJ would be like, I made the wrong choice. And it's like, of course you made the wrong choice. It's like, well, apparently both choices were wrong. <laughs> ah, apparently. Now let's see about getting to that archives now. And, uh, since we're in here, maybe just... Perhaps to find a toy somehow. Another toy on the run. Okay. Question is now where are the blocks? Oh, 
Oh, here they are. You belong to Max. I'll get you home. Jeez, two of them in the Caroline's room. What was she doing with those? Webs. For me, it's like right now, I don't really get anything out of it, but I think for your first time through, you probably get, um, I don't know, probably like a character BIOS or like concept, or I'm, I'm not sure. Because let's see, it's like, uh, here. Yeah, like Mac Haas right there. Klaus. Yeah, this is pretty much like stuff for this one here. All right, we're all wrapped up here, so uh, let's do that. Thank you, William. Give me some time to analyze this. I think I'm onto something. Find what you were looking for in the archives? Yep. Got something. Ube concrete. The essential building material of the Reich. It's based on a dot issue technology. It's almost perfect, but it's deteriorating through time, developing mold. Someone is tempering with a mix, someone who knows its secrets. I analyzed it and found a trace of this type of limestone that exists only in northern Croatia. Now, look at this. The name Set Roth. It appears three times in dot e shoot documents. According to official records, he's been detained in 1941 in Wuj and sent off to a forced labor camp in Belice in northern Croatia. Now, this is where things get interesting. The labor camp excavates limestone from a quarry for manufacture of Ube concrete. I believe this is the place where we'll find Set Roth, a living member of Dot Eshoot. The problem is, there are so many unknowns. This is an old man, chances are he's dead already. We can't assault a site of this magnitude and hope to locate him before the whole damn Nazi army arrives. What is the plan? Someone needs to go in there and find him. Go undercover. <laughs> Any volunteers? You ready for this, Blaskovich? So stupid. How oh, arrogant. No one is ever ready for something like this. Call me a hard ass, why don't you? <laughs> and get a tattoo. Clear to accept. It gets no easier than me. Well, now I can remember Nemir how many weeks long, months maybe. Not many survive for long. I was fighting the Nazis in Africa. I held them back for a while. My it and the luck. It was too strong. Now I just try to survive day for day. I'm looking for a man called Set Roth. I have heard of him. Survived in here longer than any other. 
He's in block four. Jay want to go there? Jay need director uniform. Who ever dreamt? Look for a prisoner over there, by your right, dressed in a block four uniform. Say now, Miss Milo. I heard his wife is quartered in our block. Maybe that will convince him to trade uniforms, Medio. But they need to distract the guards first. I see. Okay, I think I can do that. Find a way to distract the guards. Okay, we do that. Okay, then this. And then, eh. Oh. Can I look down to grab that? Oh. Break your machine, the guard. Crazy what? Good trick if you want the guard. And. Okay. Hurry. It's amazing how Nazis get easily distracted. And I'm pretty sure the smoke already cleared after that. Now, how's it going? Can we go to the other one? The tillers are already smolten. We need a couple of mechanics. And they come next morning. Well, then we're going to finish for today, right? Yes. Come, give me a shout. Come, then, good. Auf, give me a shout. Die Fabrik ist fertig geschlossen. Kehrt sofort in eure Quartiere zurück. Insassen von Block 4 durch das rote Tor. Insassen von Block 6 durch das blaue Tor. I hope they find what they seek, my friend. My name is Bombati. William J. Blaskowitz. Be safe out there. <laughs> safe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I think it's a good uh, stopping point here. I thought I was really going to drag up for like way too long, but there you go. That's all it for now. And uh, as we resume, we'll find out who this Setroth person is and see about, you know, escaping this here labor camp. But knowing BJ, we probably will. So, see you all guys next time for some more of Wolfenstein. Take care. <laughs>